You know, everybody wants to be a disciplined trader. Everybody. Everybody wants to have a patience. Everybody wants to be a confident trader. But what happens? You actually get in the trade, you start hesitating, or you start getting cranked up and all of a sudden all the discipline, all that patience, all that confidence just gets blown away. And yet, like most people, they have really worked with like the law of attraction, they've worked with visualization, they've worked with affirmations, and they've seen it and they know they've seen athletes do it, they've seen everybody do it, and they say, I can do this, I can visualize myself. What they don't realize is the actual visualization process, as most people use it, is actually going to produce a bigger obstacle to your success than before. That's crazy sounding, isn't it? Why? Well, there's a big problem with fantasizing, wishful thinking, and visualizing, and you feel, you feel good. You feel that success. And what you don't realize to the brain, feeling that success is the success. And you don't have motivation to really apply the discipline in the real environment. That's the problem with visualization. That's the problem with affirmation. What's missing in a, in a situation like this, and it's actually what I teach, is yeah, visualization's important. Yeah, affirmations are important. But there's a problem with things like silver mind control, the whole nine yards of the, of the visualization and affirmation industry, is they don't realize is that to make it work, to make the motivation there, is you also have to acknowledge the obstacle to the vision. And most people realize that actually the obstacle is very simple, is that they're going to actually have to do something about themselves. They're going to have to learn how to reconstruct the mind that actually goes and counter the uncertainty, the unknown of that moment. That's what they're not doing. That's the obstacle. You actually have to master the fear in order to be able to achieve the goal. You just don't visualize the goal. What you do is you say, okay, I've got the goal. I see it in my mind. I know that's what I want to attain, and then you ask the question, what's the obstacle? When you do that, something miraculously happens. You start going, okay, as I approach that obstacle, I have to learn to be able to master that obstacle. That's where the goal attainment, the motivation to, for goal attainment really comes from. You see the struggle. All heroes have to have a struggle to achieve the gift. And this is the same thing here. So you're saying, okay, it's just not the affirmations. It's just not the positive visualizations that bring success. No. What happens is you say, literally you ask that next question. What's the obstacle? But then goes to one step beyond that. You say, okay, the obstacle is the emotional regulation that I have. I go to pieces. I'm going to have to learn how to do that. Then you have to also go one thing. There's the obstacle. You train yourself to be able to master that obstacle, and then you practice and say, when I get into a situation, I need to have a set plan that readies me for that situation. That's exactly what we teach in the Ignite programs. We actually teach, yeah, you're going to have the visualization, we see what you want to do, but you're going to end up learning how to focus on the process of goal attainment, not on the outcome of goal attainment. You're going to say what we really have to do is what we can control is the process. We can control the mind that we bring into that moment that manages uncertainty. We can't control the outcome. So we're going to do that. We know that's getting your head screwed on straight, having your emotions where they're mastered so that you're claiming the emotions that are going to be in a moment. Not only that though, what you have to do is you have to have a plan. This is also taught of where you're actually going, okay, now that I'm in this moment, now that I'm in this place where I know that I have a tendency to have an obstacle, I'm going to have a plan so that I have the skill sets. I'm going to deliver. I'm going to practice them so that I'm there. I'm going to turn toward the fear. And I'm going to master it. And then I'm going to learn how to, every time I see that fear, to bring forward the skills, the power within me that allows me to make that achievement over and over again. That, my friends, is how you use affirmations, visualizations, and have them very effective. You allow the visualizations to be the outcome goal, 
then you allow the obstacle to actually teach you. Out of that teaching, friends, that's where you learn the obstacle is actually the teacher. Because out of the obstacle, mastering the obstacle, you say, now I can go into any situation. I can have a plan. Instead of avoiding that obstacle, instead of avoiding my fear, I turn toward it because I'm ready for it. That's what the expert traders know, friend. To move from mediocrity to expert, this is getting your head screwed on right. This is preparing for the moment. This is where you become an expert trader. Thank you.